Happy Tuesday. So today is called Tuesday because there's many twos in the date. And um, I was curious and I wanted to see how often that happens. And also I uh, wanted to see if I could quickly build an Excel model to tell me, uh, to, to give me that answer. So if you wanted to know what Tuesday is all about, Tuesday is both a palindrome and an ambigram. Uh, a palindrome is something that is read the same way forwards and backwards. A word that is an ambigram, for instance, would be race car, because race car spelled backwards is also a race car. And an ambigram is something that is, that is read the same way, even though it's flipped up, upside down. Um, so what I've done as, as, a, as a preparation is I've, I've essentially downloaded a font called DS Digital from thefont.com. And, um, and I essentially also try to see which numbers would be the same upside down, um, if, if read upside down. And that would be the numbers 0, 1, 2, 5, and 8. All right, so firstly, I want to quickly put that in a table because I want to be able to refer back to that. And then I want to write uh, today's date. So I can just go control and semicolon and I'll have I'll have today's date of year. Um, this is sort of how we write it out in South African format. But now I want to rewrite that as a specific text format. And therefore, I can, or to do that, I can use the text formula and essentially refer to that cell. And my f my format of my text would I would want to have uh, well for my format I'd want to have DD maybe dash MM dash y y y y so if i do that it'll basically rewrite the format exactly in in the format that i want but in this case i don't want the dashes either because i want to compare the string right so it's rebuilding the string then from that i can use a sequence and uh, sorry a mid uh, because i want to use the middle part of the characters but i can now use the mid with a sequence to spill a dynamic array range. So how do I do that? I'm going to refer to my text over here and I'm going to say I want to start so by using the sequence I can basically feed an array of numbers into the sequence and I can essentially go okay, well, if, I, if I say rows it's going to write the sequence down or yeah let, let, let me show you. So if I say rows 8 and I say I want one character at a time, it's going to write my date down like this. Well, that could work. Um, I want to write it out maybe in columns. So I'll go comma over there so that the eight is actually in the, in the column side and that'll spill uh, it'll spill a bit more than, than I wanted it. So I essentially can, can do that, right? Right, so let me just expand this. So now I've basically broken up this text. I've broken it up into into a sequence of numbers, and I can do the reverse of that now again with a sequence. So I'm just going to copy this sequence formula and basically go like that. And I'm going to say I, I again want eight columns, but I want to start at eight, and I want you to step backwards so go backwards from from eight to seven six five four three two one right um, and that will basically build me the inverse so let's put another date in here let's let me put let me put a one in there and make it 13 you'll see that it essentially rebuilds the text string in the inverse okay so it's doing what i want now we want to test if it's a palindrome so testing if it's a palindrome i literally just want to say if if this one equals this one then yes otherwise no and drag that all the way and now i can go well if this um well actually if if the sum if the sum of the range equals eight, then then it's a palindrome. 
else, nothing. Need to put that in inverted commas. So that tests for a palindrome. And now for an ambigram, I want to test if it's in this in these sequence of numbers as well as a palindrome. Because the only way that it can be an ambigram according to me is if it's a palindrome as well. So how do I do that? I'm going to say count if count if anything in this range is equal to this number. And in this case, all of them are. And because all of them are, I can say if and, so and allows me to have multiple logical checks. So if the sum of the range is 8, as well as the sum of this range, is 8. Well, there's multiple ways of doing this. I could have said if the sum of that whole range is 16, then yes, it's an ambigram and a palindrome. But And I could have checked the, the palindrome text that I've built already. There's other ways as well. There's multiple ways of doing this. But this is a quick and easy way for me. Um, and then I, I, mean, I want to say it's an ambigram. Otherwise, nothing. Okay. So now, I've essentially built my model. Now I can use the data table to check it for the next couple of years. So a lot of you might know that if I write a date in Excel and I essentially make this a general format, for instance, then a date is essentially building from, for, for, from numbers or Excel builds dates from numbers. So if I start with a number one, and I make that a short date. And it starts with the uh, 1900, 1st of January. So let's say I want to start from, let's say 2000, 1st of January. Then I know I can build it from, well, I can build it from 36,526, right? So 36,526 is my starting place my starting starting block so I could go sequence so I want let's say 40,000 rows and I want to start at this number and the rest I don't have to fill out so as, as soon as a formula has block brackets like these they are not required fields so I can actually skip through them or just leave them out and that's going to build that's going to build dates for me from, well, sorry, <laughs> broke it now. But essentially, it's going to build dates for me from the 1st of January 2000. So I just want to carry this across because I don't want this to be part of my data table. So instead of L9, I'm just going to put the number. What's it? 36526. And then I can delete this. And now I just want to have this check in there to see how often we have an ambigram. And then I do something called a data table. Now there's a shortcut for a data table as well, but I'm going to show you where to find a data table. Uh, and that's under my data tab. Under the what if analysis, I have the data table. And over here I need the column input cell because this is a column that I want to fill. I'm going to go in and say, okay, well, this is my column input cell. And what this does is it essentially applies the same logic by filling in this specific number, filling it in there and running it through the model to get to the answer. So that I don't have to repeat the formula across multiple columns or build a sort of table around this. I could just build the solution once and fill it down. And that will relatively quickly show me every single date and let's format these as um, as short dates right so it'll show me every single date in the next well couple of hundred years um, I I'll be able to see when an ambigram will strike again and literally just these 
sort of 16, these sort of 16 days over the next 100 years will be both palindromes and ambigrams. And you'll see we have today's date over here, which means the next ambigram will only be in 2050. Uh, 2050, the well, the 5th of Feb. So if I copy this and I paste it over here, let's just paste it for values, then you'll see that the, the whole model recalculates. But it'll show me that it is actually an, a, a palindrome. And it's an ambigram as well, because if I re read this upside down, it will be the same number. Let's do the same over here. So essentially, this is this is also writing it out like this. Um, but let me write it out in day, month, year. And you'll see that if I flip this around without the dashes, I will actually have a palindrome. And I'll have a um, I'll have a pan palindrome, and I'll have an ambigram. Okay, well it's taking away the, the zero now. So if I do it like this, I'll have a palindrome and an ambigram because this upside down will essentially have this or give me the same result if I flip this around. I'll have the exact same answer. And that gives me that gives me my answer. So if I wanted to see how often this happens, it actually happened more often at the beginning of the 20th century or the 21st century. Um, but it'll only happen in the next, well, it'll only happen 28 years from now, um, which is quite interesting.